Hello, my name is Hunter Oliver. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys to the sleep system we use here at Ookpik to stay warm at night. First, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your sleep system, and then secondly, I'm going to show you how to delayer and get into it when you're ready for bed. So, our sleep system has four major parts here. Uh, the first of which is going to be this blue tarp. Um, it's just a normal old tarp, but it's going to serve as a great layer uh, in between you and the snow below you, so you don't melt into that uh, insulating layer of snow. Secondly is going to be these two closed cell foam pads. Um, these sleeping pads are also going to serve as a great insulator between you and the cold ground underneath you. Uh, thirdly, we have this thick cold weather sleeping bag. Um, this is going to keep you very warm at night uh, through the coldest of weather that you will see here at Ookpik. And then lastly is going to be a personal bag that you bring yourself. Um, this can be a liner bag, it can be a fleece liner, it can be a zero degree bag, uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. Um, it will work great alongside our cold weather sleeping bags to keep you warm at night. Um, so the way you're going to set it up is just as you see here, the tarp is going to go down first, um, completely unfolded, and then you're going to set down your two sleeping pads at the edge of your tarp, and then your browning bag will go on top of those sleeping pads, and your personal bag will go inside the browning bag tucked away nicely. Um, so you want to get this done during the daylight hours is usually the best, um, and then when you're ready for bed, uh, about 30 minutes prior, you're going to want to get warm. So uh, you don't, the sleeping bags don't warm you, you warm the sleeping bags. So <clears throat> before you're ready for bed, you're going to want to go do a warming activity with your crew. Um, but before that happens, you're going to want to take uh, this insulated uh, bottle. You're going to pop it out. Your interpreter will give you some warm boiling water. You're going to take this bottle, pop it into the innermost sleeping bag, your personal bag. And that's going to start acting as a furnace to keep things starting to get warm in that sleeping bag so that when you pop in there with your warm body, um, the sleeping bags are pre-warmed for you like a furnace. Um, so now let's go play a game to get warm. All right, now that I'm nice and warm, uh, I'm ready to get into my sleeping bag. So we're going to start delayering ourselves and making sure our clothes end up in the right spots so they don't freeze overnight. So the first thing I'm going to do is sit down, I'm going to pop off these mittens so I can work with the zippers and stuff, and I'm going to take off my boots. So these Sorel boots are going to be pretty wet from your day of uh, winter travel and winter activities, so you're going to want to make sure they get in the right spot in your sleeping system so they don't freeze through the night and you can't put them on in the morning. So we're going to pop these suckers off. And so now, as you see, I've got a liner from the boot still on my foot. I'm gonna take that off as well, set that to the side. Sweet. So my boots are fully disassembled. I've got the liners from inside of the boots and the boot shells. These two shells are going to go underneath and in between your two sleeping pads, one on either side to hold you in place while you sleep so you don't slide around. Just like this. And then these two boot liners are going to go in between your browning, your cold weather bag and your personal sleeping bag. I like to shove mine down by my feet so they're not obstructing my sleep and making me uncomfortable. All right, so after I've got my boots sewed away like I want them, I'm gonna start taking off my wind layer pants. And these, just like the shells of the boots that serve as a wind layer for your foot, will go in between the two sleeping pads. So there's a theme to all of this. All of your wind layers are going to go in between your two pads. All of your warm layers are going to go in between your two bags. And all of your base layers are going to go in your personal bag with you. So now that I've got those pants off, I'm gonna take off my fleece pants. And these are the warm layers for my legs. So like I said, they will go in between the bags with the liners of my boots. And I like to shove those down at the base of my feet as well. And now my legs are ready to go in the bag. So I'm gonna take the base layers I'm changing into, put them into the personal bag, 
and then I'm gonna drop my legs in and start taking off my top layers. So now that I'm in, my legs can be nice and warm while I'm taking off my top layers. So my wind jacket is gonna pop off next. I'm gonna lay that underneath my two sleeping pads. I wanna try to get it as flat as possible so I'm not having a big lump in my back while I sleep. That's good enough. And now my wool warm layer on my top is going to come off and that will also go in between the two sleeping bags. Cool. So now I'm de-layered down on my base layers and I'm ready to start zipping up my cold weather bag. All right, so now that you've got all of your layers except your base layers in the right location, um, you're gonna go ahead and change into new base layers and put on a brand new hat that's nice and dry instead of the wet one you were wearing. And then continue folding this tarp over and tucking it under as you go. Make sure you're zipping up the bags as you go as well. This tarp is gonna serve as a really nice wind layer for you. Um, throughout the night. <clears throat> and once you've got your bags zipped up as much as they need to be, you can pop the hood up on your two sleeping bags, pull the tarp up over your face, And you're ready for bed.